Now I'm going to show you one of the public beaches in Ormond by the Sea. I think it's great. What do you think? Let's start our tour of Ormond Beach along Highway A1A. You can drive a car or ride a bike. This highway follows the coast. Welcome to Ormond Beach. That's right. Tide is Riptide's a good vibe place for a little bar. We're going to give you a tour of an up and coming beach neighborhood called Ormond Beach. My favorite spot I hear on the weekends is this bar here at Demetrius with the rooftop bar. It's pretty wild. A lot of retro, I like the mock tide. shopping district here in Armour Beach. Drug stores, grocery stores, and other. And I encourage you to check out Alfie's Restaurant. It is a fine but delicious food here directly across from the beach. I love the mushrooms, onions, and cheese. Question, who's Alfie? Who's Alfie? Yeah. So this guy knows Alfie was his father and you are? I'm his son, right. Okay. Uh, and why is the alligator there? What's the story? So, I fell in love with it. And I'm like, you know, I got people come to Florida and they want to see alligators. <laughs> I bought it. And the first one I bought, well, there was no piggy bank in it. Mm -hmm. The first one I bought was just like this. And people start putting money in his mouth. Hey, the number one attraction on the beach is the beautiful beach. It's a great place to swim, relax, or walk along Highway 8. See a lot of young families bringing their kids to the beach today. Many of them bring vehicles right up to the curb. You see a lot of retired people and families here. One of the premier properties in Best Western. Look at all those rooms with the balconies overlooking the Atlantic. This beach is so wide, the sand is compact. A lot of wave action this afternoon. Shopping is now growing here in Orange Beach. And in case you're wondering where the rich people live, it's right along this strip here. A lot of single family homes have direct views and can walk out directly to the Atlantic Ocean. To the left is the Grace Lutheran Church. Gorgeous Publix. It's a sign of the future. Elegant shopping abides. Tattoo parlor here. And Volusia County knows how to plan beaches. Here we are at Al Weeks Senior Park. What does Ormond by the Sea look like? You see some beautiful beaches here in Ormond by the Sea. Sand is a little bit more flat, similar to Daytona, but less crowded, less congested. The water is impeccable. I see some people flying some kites here. It's almost a magical experience when you come visit Mormon by the Sea. So the beaches are just flawless here in Norman. A great day here. Now we're entering the hotel district. Some of the hotels include the Outrigger and the Best Western. Looking at the vintage Outrigger Beach Club, the Best Western, and a few other hotels line this strip. Now we're looking at the Outrigger Hotel. It has a nice pool directly on the Atlantic Ocean. Now let's visit downtown Ormond Beach. 
the downtown area has a it's charming store small in the town layout. To the right is another art exhibit, courtesy of the Heaster and Lidecker family. That is a vintage Publix to the left. Very colorful. On the right are some professional offices. This district is also home to some government offices, including a library. Where has shops and eateries? They're passing several law firms and some retro apartments. And you're passing a funeral home. Wow. Salty Church. Almond Beach has many beautiful neighborhoods. Look at all the tree lined streets and this vintage neighborhood here. Drive or walk through these neighborhoods and admire the architectural and landscaping. Berman Beach is proud of their school system. Right here is the Beachside Elementary School. Kind of a retro Florida architecture. They done very well in their school training this year. Hey, if you got anything out of the Ormond Beach video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit like, subscribe, and comment. I love hearing from you guys.